there's the, – I'm going to go back the time machine this bad boy. Okay. To three, four weeks ago. Okay. Now, I, I host a uh, – uh, NC State football podcast with Mike Glennon, my cousin and former uh, NC State quarterback. And one of our preseason episodes was about setting expectations. And Mike, I asked Mike, I said, all right, Phil, you know, like what's what's the bottom for, for success? Like what is the, hey, if this happens, this is a good season for NC State. Just trying just trying to set expectations, right? Trying to get, get a feel for it. And his response was nine wins. Nine wins. If you win nine games in the, you know, with an ACC schedule, you know, you got to be pretty confident with that. Obviously, you'd like more, but nine wins. Um, one of the more feedback drawing comments we've gotten as a uh, since I've taken over pack therapy, people were not happy. It was no this year, ten wins minimum. No this year. ACC championship game appearance. After all of this money spent in NIL, after it's time for Dave Doran to blah, 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 blah. We got a lot of that. A lot of it. Through four games. I think ACC championship is still everybody's expectation. I think 10 wins is still everybody's expectation. I don't know. I bet you there are some fans out there that have pivoted towards, I hope we get a bowl game. You're two and two with two pretty horrendous looking losses, granted to talented teams in Tennessee and, and Clemson, and and two pretty horrendous looking wins, granted maybe to better than expected for their level of play, Western Carolina and Louisiana Tech. Is there simply, and this is one of those questions that state fans are going to ask and ask and ask, is there simply a glass ceiling, a, a you know, for, for, like a dog invisible fence that you can't see, but you can't walk through on NC State to be at eight or nine wins. Is there a reason why it seems so difficult for that program, despite the big name transfers, despite the parade of NFL quarterbacks that have gone through that campus since Phillip Rivers started it up, despite, uh, you know, the, the, I think the likability of Coach Doran and how he seems to get it and connect with the fan base, despite all of that, that they can't get to simply 10 wins. Is that just the the, the lay of the land? Is that just how it's going to be? I, I refuse to believe it. And by the way, I refuse to believe there are glass ceilings or, or, or electric dog fences on any program because that, all of that is true until they aren't. Right, it's it's. You know what was a, a guarantee? Ohio State quarterbacks weren't going to pan out in the NFL. So many of them taken, so many of them drafted. They aren't going to pan out. We've fallen for that before. Oh, it's the, the until guess what happened? C.J. Stroud rolled up there and diced up the entire league as a rookie. Mm-hmm. It's just it's not going to happen until it does. Peyton Manning couldn't win the big one. He was the guy that put up all the stats in the regular season until what? Until he won a Super Bowl. Then all that changed. Now we don't even mention that we used to say that. Yeah, NC State can't win eight or nine games. Or sorry, can't win more than eight or nine games. Can't win ten games. Can't make it to the ACC championship. Until one year they're going to. And and I agree. That means you have to change things up. Right to to get something you've never gotten, you have to do something you've never done. So you got to change things up. You know the Colts had to go ahead and put together a defense. Oh look at that! Now Peyton Manning can win. If you go look, if you go look at so many of the great quarterbacks that can't win the big one, and then finally do. It's almost always as soon as the defense, like uh, Aaron Rodgers. You look at it, the Packers never had a good defense. They had top ten defense. Oh look at that! He won a Super Bowl. Like it's it's just. The, the, you got to do something you've never done, which is why I respected and was actually maybe looking back on it too high on NC State this past year because Dave Doran did something he doesn't normally do. He went out and, and he, he fundraised and he won the offseason. He brought in the transfers. Now, turns out they didn't necessarily maybe pick the right transfers or the the chemistry of it all isn't completely pH balanced, like there's something off at least that they haven't figured out yet. 
But that doesn't mean you stop like, oh, guess what? We're just a nine-win team. Now, no, I, I, I don't think anyone was wrong in that, that preseason interaction that I talked about. Right. If I ask Mike Glennon, hey, what's what's a good season for NC State this year? And he says nine wins. That's coming from someone that's he's firsthand seen how difficult it is to win in the ACC. And he knows nine wins. He's never going to be disappointed in nine wins. Hate to bring up bad memories, but he's seen like a 400 yard passing four touchdown day get ripped apart by a Gio Bernard kick return punt return. He knows how hard, how thin the margin of winning is in the ACC. And fans should go into a season where you bring in a a big money NIL quarterback, a big money NIL wide receiver, a big money NIL tight end, a big money NIL uh, running back, a big money NIL offensive lineman. Like they should go into seasons with, no, we're going to be better than we've ever been. You can disagree with me on this. But I think part of the fan experience, part of having a favorite team is the the the, the bitterness after a season doesn't go your way. It makes the seasons that are awesome feel that much better. Do you think Red Sox fans would be as overjoyed with the 2004 World Series where they came back on the Yankees and, and they won the whole thing if for 86 years they didn't think – This is our year. If they didn't go through all of the Ted Williams years and all of the Carl Yastrzemski years and all of the Nomar years thinking, hey, this is our year because we got our guy. No, of course. They went in with high expectations. We're going to do it this year. Those darn Yankees, Bucky bleep and dent. And then in 2004, they finally got over the hump. And guess what all the Red Sox fans got to say? We did it. I knew it was our year. Yeah. I knew it. This one was different. If NC State rallies the troops, wins the next however many, finishes the regular season 10-2, and two, all of those fans should say, I knew it. What they won't say is, I knew it last year, and I knew it the year before, and I knew it Devin Leary's last year, and I knew it Jacoby Brissett's last year, and I knew it when, when Mike Glennon was here, and I knew it when Russell Wilson was here, and I knew it, and I knew it, and I knew it. NC State, as a program, cares about football enough, invests about football enough, uh, has the support of football enough to, to, to win 10 games, to play for a conference championship, to do all of the lofty things that fans want them to do. It's just really hard to do it. It's really hard, and it's really hard to do it the first time. And then it gets easier and easier and easier.